Would it be too forward to ask your name? Ah, oh, Watson, welcome. Excellent timing. I just received the most interesting telegram. We've been summoned to Stonehenge. Pack a bag while I summon a cab for us. Reggie Pittman was not a cautious man, and I fear he made a number of enemies by pushing his archaeological dig forward over the objections of many. And then there was his personal life. What do you know? Mr. Pittman was found dead at the bottom of our deepest ex- Let us begin at his tent then. An interesting puzzle to be sure. Now it behooves us to visit the site of the crime. How deep is the pit? Over two meters down. The first artifacts we found nearer the surface are from the 10th century. We just came upon some Roman coins. After you.
So do you think it was murder, Mr. Holmes? Undoubtedly. Now we just have to uncover the identity of the murderer. Well done indeed!
I'm afraid not. Yes. Oh, no. Oh, fiddlesticks. That was dreadful. Oh, fiddlesticks. Brilliant! Oh, no! I'm afraid not. I'm afraid not. Oh, no! Brilliant! That's not it. That's it! That won't work. I'm afraid not. That's it! There are no ancient curses at work here, Watson. Our killer is Baron Maximilian Escobar. It may have been a crime of passion over Mrs. Pittman's divorce papers. What was Escobar doing in the pit with Pittman? Why didn't Pittman... That's just it, Watson. Pittman wasn't killed in the pit. I suspect he was killed in his tent by a powerful blow to the solar plexus, knocking the wind out of him and making him unable to breathe. The body was then dragged to the pit and had left there. Really, Holmes? How do you know he wasn't killed in the pit? There is no other way for him to have a 10th century piece of pottery under his body at a 1st century strata. Once I realized that, it was simply a matter of looking for the footprints and drag marks leading to the hole. And the only man strong enough to carry out the deed and the body is the strapping young Baron. By Jove, Holmes. At least one mystery of Stonehenge has been... Give me time, Watson. Congratulations! This just washed up. A bottle with an... A map to a buried treasure, perhaps? Not at all. It reads, Help! I'm being held prisoner by pirates. The bottle label reads, Brewed at the quaking... I know that establishment. It's in the London shipping district. I am Sherlock Holmes, and this is my associate, Dr. Watson. We discovered a bottle from your establishment containing a desperate note. That's my bottle, but I don't...
Since we discovered the message in a bottle, it would seem to follow we should investigate the ship in a bottle. The Lady Baltic? Precisely. It appears that this area of the Lady Baltic is deserted. Now we shall see if my suspicions are confirmed. But you didn't share any suspicions with me. I suspect our prisoner is locked in the storage room. And I...
Perfectly splendid. Oh, fiddlesticks. Oh, no. That's not it. That was dreadful. That won't work. Oh, fiddlesticks. Perfect. That was dreadful. That was dreadful. Quite regrettable. Well done. You got it. Oh no. That won't work. No. Oh fiddlesticks. No. Righto. Righto. That was dreadful. Quite regrettable. That was dreadful. I'm afraid not. That's not it. Yes. Oh, fiddlesticks. Brilliant. That's not it. Well done. We've stumbled into quite a nefarious affair, Watson. We have crooks pirating away illegal cargo from smugglers. Oh, I'm at a lot. The crew of the Lady Baltic are smuggling the feathers of the mysterious starling. It's a rare bird found on the island of Mork in the Cook Islands, where the ship's log states was a port of call. The birds were killed, plucked, and their feathers cleverly hidden inside down pillows. That breed of starling is on the verge of extinction, but its feathers are widely sought. Right you are, Watson. But when Boots Marlin overheard Dabney Hawkins and his shipmates discussing their valuable contraband, he stepped in to steal the feather. Unfortunately, just at that moment, Jane Powers decided to visit her beau, first mate Hawkins, and stumbled upon Marlin and his band of privateers. Boots locked her away to keep her quiet. Good thing the clever girl was able to get out a message in a bottle. And by luck, that bottle happened into the hands of... Sh Congratulations! Cheerio!